hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can transfer files or how we can copy files between a linux mint machine and a windows pc machine and we'll be using a tool or an application called filezilla which is going to act as a sftp client and then linux mint is going to act as the server now i'm on the linux mint machine right here but we need the client on the windows device so I'm going to open a browser and then let's download FileZilla. So search for FileZilla download. Then we'll need to go to FileZilla-project.org. Okay, once you get to the site, you see there's two options, the FileZilla client and the FileZilla server. We need the client. So click on it and then click on this. Here you see we have four options. The last two options are the FileZilla Pro. These are the paid version. If I click on it, you'll see the price showing here. So let me go back. All we need is the all we need is the free one right here. And we're looking for SFTP, which is a protocol that would will allow us to transfer the files securely between a Windows device and a Linux machine. We don't want to use the standard FTP because this one is not secure. So click on download and it should be a quick download. It's already done. I'm going to close this window and then let me open and look at the downloads folder. There it is. Now we'll need to install it. Just double click on it. And then I need to allow the app to run. Click yes. Let me close this out. And here i need to i'm gonna click on agree and then i'm gonna select accept and click on next and i'll click on next i'll go with the defaults here click next i'm gonna accept this destination folder for installation i'll click on next and install so it's a quick install it's already done i'll click on finish and then I'll open FileZilla client. This is what it looks like. Now, with it open, you see that I can see on the client, which is the Windows PC, I can already see the uh, folders of the directories and the files inside of it. So if I open File Explorer here, go to Downloads or the desktop, I'm seeing these files here. But on the remote site, is nothing because we haven't connected to it so we need to set that up and we'll need to input the ip address so if you hover your mouse over here under host it's going to tell you what you need to put it says enter the address of the server so there's other information you can enter here then you need the username at the server which is the linux mint machine you need the password the port now by default ftp uses port 21 but we want to use a secure version sftp which uses port 22 so i'll put port 22 here and on the linux mint if i open the terminal there's two things we need to do on here first we need to ensure that ssh is enabled to so run system ctl status ssh and it shows that it's active and running so that's good the other thing you need to do is we need to determine our IP address. You can use IP address command. And it's 172.16.1.103. We need this information on the, so we need this information on FileZilla client. And I can do W just to see the username here is Nino. Now we'll go back to the FileZilla client. And actually, before we input the information, let's make sure we can ping or we can reach this device. So I'm opening PowerShell on uh, my Windows device. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to try and see if I can ping this device or if I can ping this IP. If I do IP config, you'll see that my address is a little different. It's 172.16.1.11. It's on the same network. Same local network as the Linux Mint device. So let's go ahead and see if we can ping it. So I'll do ping 
172.6.1.103, which is the ID for Linux Mint. I'll do enter, press enter here. And I'm able to ping it. So we've confirmed that it's reachable. Now let's go ahead and uh, finish the information on the FileZilla client. The IP address we saw is 172.16.1.103. The username we saw is Eno. I'll put in the password. Should I put in the correct password here? Then the port is 22 again. So we'll click on connect. It's connecting and I get a pop up window saying the server source key is unknown and it's asking if you want to trust this host and continue the connection now uh, say yes always trust this host and click ok and it's connecting and it's successful and now if you look at this window on your right i'm seeing that the remote site i can see the the directory is here form you know and if I go to say Enos directory and go to desktop, I can see the two file test text of test file seven, which are right here, the Linux Mint machine. Now, when it comes to doing the transfer between the two devices, we can transfer for, we can do a transfer or copy from either of the devices to the, to the other. To do that, all you need to do is locate the file you want. Say, for instance, if I wanted to transfer this test uh, test text file from the Linux Mint to my Windows PC, I just have to click on it to select it. Then I'll determine the, the folder where I want to place it on my Windows PC. Let's say I want to put it on the desktop. So I just select it, drag it, and drop it and I get a pop-up saying transfer finished. So I get a pop-up saying transfers finished. If I open file explorer and go to desktop, you see that I got this file from today's date. And I can also do a transfer in the opposite direction from the Windows PC to the Linux Mint machine. To do that, I'll go to the file. Let's say I want to transfer this file right here, Windows PC test file. Select it and then determine the directory on your Linux Mint machine. Uh, so select the file, drag it and drop it. And there it is, I got the file on the Linux Mint machine. So that's it for this video. That's how you can transfer or copy files between a Windows PC device and a Linux Mint device. So I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks, bye.